are waning days in the U.S. Congress, Representative Tulsi Gabbard of Hawaii is again making headlines. On Thursday the Hawaii Democrat and unsuccessful U.S. presidential candidate introduced a bill her office said will ensure Title X protections for women and girls in sports. According to a press release, given the average difference in abilities conferred by biological sex, this bill would clarify Title X protections for female athletes is based on biological sex. Title X is the landmark legislation that was championed by the late Patsy Mink, the Democrat whose seat Gabbard now holds. Among other things, it provides equal opportunity for women and girls in high school and college sports. But the Protect Women's Sports Act, co-introduced by Republican Representative Mark Wayne Mullen of Oklahoma, is being described by critics as anti-transgender. Tulsi Gabbard is now introducing a blatantly transphobic piece of legislation aimed at trans and Non-binary young people, civil rights activist Charlotte Clymer wrote on Twitter of the bill, HuffPost reported Thursday. Remember when Tulsi Gabbard tried to convince us she was an LGBTQ ally? We knew she was a liar, a fraud, wrote Zeke Stokes, former chief programs officer of LGBTQ rights organization GLAD. And here is a statement from the Hawaii Health and Harm Reduction Center, but Gabbard, who cites Mink in her press release, said, our legislation protects Title IXs. Original intent which was based in the general biological distinction between men and women athletes based on sex. Said Mullen, as the father of three girls involved in athletics, I want them to be able to compete on a level playing field. Changes to Title X have been proposed before. Sports Illustrated reported Friday, though NCAA rules allow transgender women to participate in women's sports, this is not the first time legislation has presented an obstacle various branches of government have disagreed on this issue just this year. If passed, the magazine noted, institutions that violate the new law could lose federal funding. Gabbard has apologized in the past for formerly holding anti-LGBTQ plus views. A media inquiry to Gabbard spokesman Haig Hafsipian was not immediately returned Friday. Hawaii State Senator Kai Kahele, a Democrat, will succeed Gabbard when the new Congress is sworn in January 2. Gabbard did not seek a fifth term. Like Sharon. Subscribe my channel.